Hi guys, it's Drea. Today I have a current favorites for you. It's been a long time since I filmed a favorites video. I feel like, like I don't do monthly favorites anymore, so it's been a while. By the way, that's a coffee maker going, that noise. I filmed in the kitchen, what do you want? Anyways, I figured it was long overdue. I have a lot of things that I have been really, really loving a lot lately and wanted to talk to you about. I just filmed another video, which is my project pan update. I just changed my lipstick and earrings just to give you something a little bit different to look at. Okay, let's start with eyeshadow because this is the biggest amount of stuff in this video. I have like four, six eyeshadow products here that I have really been loving and there is quite a theme and I think you'll, you'll notice it as we go along. So let's start out with this. This is the Viseart Amethyst Theory Palette. Um, Alex gave this to me last Christmas and I really didn't use it a ton throughout the year until now. I kind of thought this is really the best time to wear it in fall. Um, if you don't know, purple eyeshadow is just my thing. It's really because I have green eyes. It just makes my eyes pop super intensely. So I've been using this quite a bit. I've been using this not necessarily for the lid shades, but mainly for the matte shades. And then I've been pairing a lot of different um, single shadows with it. I have definitely used the uh, shimmery shades, but I've been really loving the mattes. Here's the shimmers. Actually, I'll just swatch the whole thing. Here are all the shades here. Now here's the interesting thing. If you look at the mattes here, they really don't look that intense. It doesn't really look like there's a lot going on in the swatch. However, with these shades, when you actually build them up and they do build up really easily, um, I feel like the level of pigmentation is really, really good and they blend out super well. So I've been liking this a lot just for like a standard purple palette to pair with whatever I want to pair it with. Um, this palette is what is on my eyes today. This is the Kaleidos Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green. That coffee maker, it's really going. It's really going at this very moment. This is what this palette looks like. I've actually had this for a couple months and I've used it a ton, the entire time. Um, it's not just been this month that I've been using it. I've been using this a lot. Every time I pick this up, I just love the look that comes out of it. And today I mostly, this is actually a very simple look. Like I didn't do a lot with this today. Um, I think I just put a little bit of this guy in my crease. I did a little bit of this one in the outer V and then this one all over the lid. And that was it, like very, very simple look didn't take much work at all and yet it like packs a real punch um the two shimmery shades in the middle are really really beautiful especially the one that i'm wearing right now the other one is a little too yellow for something that i like to wear all over but it is really nice when i kind of gradiate is that even a word the two of these together but i really love that green shade it's called glamora um kaleidos has gotten a lot of hype recently and I think it's very well deserved. I really love the quality of these and I have been wearing this makeup all day long, almost, no, for more than 12 hours now. And I feel like, no, like, look, there's no creasing. It looks beautiful. Similarly, I've been using the Smoke Sessions one quite a bit as well. Um, it's kind of a similar palette. There's a few more shades in here. There's not as many mattes and there are not as many light mattes, like the mattes in here are just these two really dark ones. But I love, I actually love both sides of the shimmers. Like I was gonna say I really love this side, and then I was like, no, I actually really love this side. I love them all. Um, they, these kind of more grungy tones on the left-hand side are something that I didn't really expect that I would love a lot, but I really, really do. I especially like these two, right here, these two especially. Um, all over the lid, Black Widow, which is the top color, is so pretty. And then over here, I haven't been using these ones as much recently, but I did use them a lot more in the summertime, and they are really beautiful. I love this palette. I think um, this is Melt Cosmetics. I know I just said Smoke Sessions. That's the name of the palette, but the brand is Melt Cosmetics, if you didn't know. These are really beautiful. I don't necessarily think the two palettes, like the two sides of the palettes go really well together, but I 
typically use like one side for a look or the other side for a look. So anyway, I love that. Very similar thing. The quality is, is right up there. Okay. I have three singles. I actually have two singles and one glitter to talk about, which is a little bit different for me. I just bought this recently and I've used it three times, but that is more than enough times to know that it is spectacular and gorgeous. And I am on a low buy, which includes only buying one single eyeshadow every quarter. And I'm sad because I want more of these, but you know, Christmas and birthday are coming. So that's fine. This is the Ciate marbled metals, um, single eyeshadow. This is in the shade wicked. The only other person I've even ever seen talk about these is Tara babies. And that was a few months ago. And it only just happened that I was in Sephora recently. I was actually going to buy Tarte Unleashed, their chrome paint pot, the purple one. And I had swatched it and I had it in my hand. I had it in my cart and I was like ready to buy it. And I just happened to see this. Now look at inside of here. Really difficult to get my camera to focus tonight, but you can definitely see, see all the shininess. And then that one spot in the middle, that big chunk of like shine, um, is really what gives this shadow its like babamness. I know that's not a word. So this to me reminds me a lot of the um, Touch and Soul single shadow. I can't remember the name of it, but they have those foil single shadows. This one reminds me of that one a lot, but this one I feel like is even more glittery. Like look at the flash on it, but it actually glitters really well. Okay, so you see this? See how it flashes? But you can also see the way it glitters, I think. There, see that glitter in it? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So this one specifically, I was using a lot with that Viseart palette. It just paired so nicely. Um, this one is a f absolute favorite of mine. I, I never like want to bust it out because I keep it in its packaging because it comes with a little sponge that I actually use. But once I actually do bust it out and I use it, I am just like, why don't I use this more? This is Elise Wache Ombre Souffle Supreme in the shade Ver Enchant. Oh, you were talking pink Latin. Yeah, I know. Omne and Dine. Whole, whole bunch of weird <laughs> names and words. Say them? Ver Enchant. No, it was the Lee Swache Ombre Souffle Supreme in Ver Enchant. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pink Latin. <laughs> See how sh like shiny and glittery this is? So gorgeous. It's really like a putty consistency, which is why I use the little uh, spongy thing with it. And also because I can't really get my finger in here. Um, but I love this. It just, it has that glitteriness to it as well. I've been using it, well, with those green palettes, but I've also been using this with a lot of different things. Um, this was sent to me by subscriber, Joanne. This is the Makeup Forever Starlit Glitter in the shade S111. I didn't expect to love this as much as I do. So when you open, oh, this is actually fantastic. Okay, when you open it up, it just looks like white. It looks like it might be a little bit iridescent, what have you. When you actually put it on, it's like green. It flashes green. I'm having focusing problems, but I think you can tell this is the inside of the cap and that's really how it looks on the eye. That flashy green, it's so, so, so pretty. So you might be able to see on my finger as well. Maybe, should I, I'm gonna just put some on top of this and see if it works without. I do typically use an eyeshadow um, primer, like sticky primer. I think you could see how it kind of transformed that. It's very, very, very glittery now. So gorgeous. I've used that a bunch of times over the last couple months. I've used it with green looks. I actually used it once as an inner corner highlight. Um, but again, you need a really sticky base with this product because it is just glitter. Like it won't stick by itself. So, but it's stunning. Um, she gave me a pink one too, which I like a lot, but that green one is just become such a favorite. Okay, that's enough eyeshadow. Uh, could you tell the theme? It was like all purples and greens, like 
those are my colors, purples and greens. Okay, let's move on to face products. I have two foundations I want to talk about. This one is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This one I have used for years. I just wanted to kind of mention it because although I still love my Smashbox, it's my favorite foundation of all time. I've been using this one a ton this month. This is what's on my face today. Um, I have very oily skin if you didn't know that. And I have been wearing this makeup now for over 12 hours. And I did not repowder, I did not reapply foundation. It is on my face completely. Um, the only thing is, I am looking a little glowy, obviously. Um, I do blot just with a napkin. Like, I don't even use blotting papers anymore. I just blot with a napkin. I just get an extra napkin at lunch and I blot my face with it. And all the excess oil comes off and I don't repowder. Um, although I did just use what was left over from my powder brush this morning before I started filming. Anyways, who cares, right? But I love this. Mine is in the shade Sand. I think it's just a really beautiful foundation. It lasts so well on the skin, on oily skin, and it looks like real skin, and it just is so pretty. So I had been recently wanting something that was even more natural looking just for, I don't know, I just like my own skin to show more and more lately. Um, I feel like my skin is one of my best features and so I don't like to cover it up you know you always want to accentuate what you love and then we correct what we don't love but my skin is not something that I feel like needs a lot of correction so I wanted something a little bit less coverage this is the Sephora matte perfection tinted moisturizer um, I got a sample of this and then I liked it enough to decide that this was the foundation I was gonna buy and so you'll probably see that in my upcoming like low buy update video but here it is right here so if i just like kind of blend it you can see like it's not very high coverage at all it smells it smells nice it's just like a little tiny bit of color it feels really nice on the skin um i haven't really worn it to work yet i think i used this sample once at work and i didn't have any issues um but I've worn this a few times just like on nights that I'm going out or whatever and I love the way it looks on the skin so I wanted to shout that out I've only used it a few times though so I don't want to say like run out and get it but I do like it this one I would say run out and get um, although I've heard some people don't like this I am in love with it so this is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Um, this came in my BoxyCharm. I know it came in tons of people's BoxyCharms. I was a little bit annoyed when it came in my BoxyCharm, to be honest. I was just like, I don't need more powder in my life. And I was like, you know what? It's it's like hydrating. I have oily skin. I don't want to deal with it. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it under my eyes because my under eye is the driest part of my face. And it just needs more moisture. So I have been using this every time I use my makeup since I opened that box. I love it. This is a cooling powder. It literally feels wet when you put it on. I put it on with a brush. Um, it has a little like stopper cover thing. And I think you could see how that just poofed out. It's really, really fine, um, but it's super cooling. It has some color to it. Not a lot, not a lot of coverage, a little bit of color, a little bit of coverage. I find that it's still brightening on me but I love the way it feels. It's, I think the cooling sensation also does something in terms of deep puffing. I don't really have a lot of puffiness under my eyes. That's not really one of my issues, but um, I just like it for setting my concealer. Some of that went into my eye. <laughs> I just like it for setting my concealer. I think it is just a really good powder for setting concealer and the fact that it is like cooling and has moisture in it, just it keeps me as moisturized under my eyes as possible for somebody who has such long days and like i said before i've been wearing this makeup all day i feel like my under eyes look okay they you know they're never gonna look super fresh after 12 or 13 hours but i feel like they look pretty good i just love the way it feels it feels so good okay i don't have a lot of lip favorites um i honestly have not been wearing lipstick <laughs> I just can't be bothered lately. When I was doing my lip of the day videos, of course I was thinking about it every day and I was I was recording it and so I never missed a day. But lately I just I just don't want to bother with with lipstick at first thing in the morning and I like my lips so I don't necessarily feel like I need lipstick um, I carry a few in my purse for if I wanted some moisture or if I just wanted some color throughout the day but 
So I only have one, and it's not necessarily that this is my favorite, but I wanted to mention it because it's one, what's on my lips. I know you guys are going to ask, and it's a really good fall color. So I figured I would just include in this a nice, really nice classic fall color. This is red, but it's a very deep red. So this is MAC Diva. Um, it's a matte. It's a matte. And it's not super matte. I can feel that it has some moisture to it. And I think you could see on my lips, even when I turn, it doesn't look totally matte. Like it actually looks like there's some, some shine to it. But it's such a nice fall color, isn't it? Like it's just one of those classic fall things you wanna bust out your red lipstick in fall if you hadn't all, all summer. So I wanted to give that a quick shout out. Um, two other eye things quickly. I repurchased with points, so I got it for free. You'll see this in my like low buy update as well. Um, the Chanel La Volume de Chanel mascara. I love this stuff. So I don't wear eyelashes to work, but I wear my own eyelashes. Hardy har har. Um, but I don't wear fake eyelashes like I'm wearing right now. I just put these on to film the video with. Anyways, this is what the brush looks like. It's a plastic brush. It's quite pliable. You can see it moves really easily. And it's got super short bristles. Here's what I love about this. I use lots of different mascaras. I, I always have volumizing mascaras, lengthening mascaras, but a lot of them don't separate very well. And this one separates super well and this is always my second layer. So lately I've been using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I love that mascara, super volumizing. It's a little bit chunky. It's a little bit, like sometimes your lashes stick together. And so this one separates really well. And while it separates, I find it gives you even more, a little bit of volume um, and length. The thing I really like about this as well is it's very, very, very black. And I like to have very black eyelashes. And this is something that's kind of, you ever have a product that you don't, you never expected to love and you never even noticed that you started loving it. Like this one crept up on me. I didn't realize that I've been using this one so much until I saw how short it was getting. So this here is my uh, Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. It's just the black one. I have been using this more and more and more. It's getting super short. This is very, very creamy and very black. So you can kind of see how creamy it is just when I do that. Um, super black, very soft. It's a really good one for smudging. So sometimes I like to wear winged eyeliner. Sometimes I like to just do a really smudgy lash line um, with no wing. And a lot of times I'll do that if I'm in a rush in the morning. I just want some contrast at my lash line, but I don't necessarily want to spend time doing a winged eyeliner. This is also really good for, um, I like to bring black eyeliner not in my waterline and not all the way across like a lot of people do i like to bring it just like this far because i feel like leaving all this part open makes my eyes wider and i'm still getting a little bit of framing but i don't close off my eyes um, by lining the whole thing so if you ever look at my videos it's pretty rare that you'll see my eyes fully lined in black it happens here and there but not often um, and so it's really good for smudging under the lash line as well Okay, two other face products and then just one real quick um, non-makeup mention. I don't want to spend a lot of time here. I just want to mention that I've been using this Body Shop bronzer almost non-stop this month. This is the Honey Bronzer in Medium Matte. I don't know if they still make these. I think they probably do. Um, I think you can tell just by looking at it how much is used. This is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. It builds up really nicely. There's a swatch, but I feel like it builds up to more of an intensity on my face, you can kind of tell, um, then that swatch would lead you to believe. But I really like that it's really matte. I've been reaching for this one a ton. And then this blush is one that I just kept going back to all month. This is from MAC. It is the Mineralized Blush in New Romance. This is something Lisa passed on to me. I'm gonna link to her Instagram because I don't think she's really doing a lot of videos lately. I'll link to her Instagram if you're not following her. And this is just a really beautiful kind of shiny, but not too intense peachy pink blush. Like it's not quite uh, like NARS orgasm peachy pink. It's not that intense. It's just a little bit lighter, but it's super pretty. And I kept reaching for this one over and over. Um, also wanted to quickly mention if you have not gotten your butt to bath and body works, now is the time of year for uh, marshmallow fireside and bonfire bash. If you saw in my last haul uh, low buy update, 
I did stock up on these because this is my favorite body wash of all time and last year I only bought like two of them and I was done them way too quickly so I bought enough to last me until next year this stuff smells so good this is basically the body wash version of this so if you like marshmallow fireside you will love this stuff that is it for my current favorites we are well into fall i hope you guys are enjoying fall i've been loving the crispness in the air and the fact that winter won't come the way it comes in ontario it's gonna be such a nice winter here and i'm gonna knock on wood just to be safe um but yeah that's it for my favorites i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i hope that you're speaking to yourself kindly especially when you look in the mirror i love you guys i will see you in my next video Bye.